ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಂಧುಬಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವಧೂನ್ಯ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತುಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವ ನಖ ಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾವದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರೋ ಗಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತೈದೆ ಸಂಬೀಪಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ 
राम हरि गौरांगिक गतिर्वजाश्रितमती श्री गौरधाम स्थिति सत्सैकतिर्कुसंग विरती दुष्ट व्यथा निष्कृति श्रीरूपैकती सनातन नती श्रीजीव तेजस्तुति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर भोपाल सेट दैट टू सर्व द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय परमहंस जगत गुरु श्री श्री गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज आई एम ऑलवेज रेडी टू गो टू हेल विथ ड्यू कॉन्टैक्ट आई हैव नो हेजिटेशन इन इट टू सर्व द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय परमहंस जगत गुरु आई एम ऑलवेज रेडी टू गो टू हेल विथ ड्यू कॉन्टैक्ट आई हैव नो हेजिटेशन Often, Sela Popad used to say that our life is totally dedicated unto the lotus feet of Sadguru. I mean, unto the lotus feet of Guru Goranga. So we must feel positive view. We must always feel some positive. We must feel positive way. What is that positive way? In Kirtan, Sela Sachidananda Bhakti Mun Thakur writing. तुमार सेवाय दुख है जत से तो पारम सुख तुमार सेवाय दुख है जत से तो पारम सुख एनी अमाउंट अफ ट्रावल एंड साफरिंगस गोईंग टू कम इन यर लाइफ इन दफ गुरु गौरांग सेवा उइ कैन एक्सेप्ट दोज एज एनो positive way we can accept basically way we can accept all gladly any amount of trouble or sufferings coming in our life in the way of guru gurang seva sadguru seva we can accept all those very gladly actually point is that those problems and sufferings are always welcome in our life we like to do non stop guru gorang seva we don't like to find any kind of interval we like to take rest in up seva done now we will have to take some rest after then we can think uh, again to do or not to do not that a real gauriya sadhu always doing non stop guru gorang seva there is no interval if there is any interval fraction of second then that gapping is more than sufficient that maya devi can enter in your life and kill you we cannot allow any interval within that gapping maya devi can enter and make some problem with me so a pure gaudiya sadhu we have seen in the life of guru pad padma in the life of param vijay kesav goshi maharaj in the life of life of sisila sridhar goshi maharaj and after all in the life of pohupad and bhakti mino thakur non stop seva going on this is the perfect conception of siddhanta of a genuine of a genuine gauriya bhakta sadhu when my life is totally dedicated unto the lotus feet of guru goranga then i cannot reserve anything for me separately when my life is totally dedicated if my life is totally dedicated unto the lotus feet of guru goranga then i cannot reserve anything for me separately i cannot have any right to reserve any secrecy in my life we can remember the following teachings of siman mahaprabhu while coming through jharkhanda forest while coming through jharkhanda forest somehow some critical skin disease was seen 
in the body of Sri Sri Sanatana Goswami Pad. You know it very well. Through Jharkhanda, he was coming. So somehow, uh, some critical skin disease was there, was seen in the body of Sri Sanatana Goswami Pad. When he took shelter at the Bhajan Kutir of Sri Namacharya Haridas Thakur at Purushottam Dham, to avoid touching, to avoid contamination, to avoid touching, you know, avoid touching others. He wanted to stay safely so that no problem can be there with his disease. But that was the usual habit, but that was the usual habit of Siman Mahaprabhu to embrace him forcefully. Daily Mahaprabhu coming to pay darshan to Haridas Thakur and uh, since uh, Sanatana Goswami is there, so he used to embrace him daily. It is the usual habit of Siman Mahaprabhu to embrace him forcefully. He always wants to go away because he knows all my bad bloods and everything touching Mahaprabhu's you know, Mahaprabhu's transcendental body. He was very sorry for that. Once he developed a critical, you know, detachment, he took decision to throw his useless body under the, under the wheel of Sri Jagannath Deva chariot at the time of Rathi Yatra festival period. Rathayata festival almost approaching. So, all pervading Supreme Lord sitting inside the heart of each and everybody. So, naturally, Mahaprabhu could know all about the decision taken by Sila Sunatan Goswami Pad. So, naturally, Siman Mahaprabhu became very much disturbed and he started, Mahaprabhu started saying, in front of Sanatam, your life is now my property. Your life is now my property. You have, you have no right to destroy this body. Sanatam, you are 100% inclined because your life is sold to me through your full dedication. Then how you can take this kind of decision? In that case, how you can Think that way. The same teaching we can get from Sila Popat. Already I told. To be frank, I would like to say more and more clearly that if you want to get exact teachings of Simon Mahaprabhu, then you are bound to approach Sila Popat and his mission. Be careful. This Siddhanta is 100% perfect. If at all anybody like to get the exact teachings, exact guidance of Siman Mahaprabhu, then he must come in front of Sila Prabhupada or his mission. If you want to get exact teachings of Siman Mahaprabhu, then you are bound to approach Sela Prabhupada and his mission. There is no alternative at there is no alternative at all. That is why you can remember Sela Prabhupada often used to say Gauriamat is the only path pathway to Godhead. Now those foolish people can put some question about the service of Srila Prabhupada for his Gurudev. Now those foolish people can put some question about the service of Srila Prabhupada for his Gurudev. Because argument is their only weapon. Because argument is their only weapon through which always they like to come out successful. But this is not possible. Tarko apatishto sutayo vivinya nasomunir yasamatam nabhinyam 
धर्मस्व तत्व नीतु गुहायम महायनो महायनो जेनो गतु सपंथ्या महाजनो जेनो गतु सपंथ्या वी विल हैव टू फॉलो आवर गुरु वर्ग इन टोटो इन टोटो वी विल हैव टू फॉलो देर इज नो अदर वे सो तर्को लॉजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन कैन नॉट स्टैंड इन द वे ऑफ दैर एब्सिल ट्रूथ वी कैन नॉट कम आउट सक्सेसफुल ट्रू आर्गुमेंट सो but uh, you know argument is the only weapon they can think that cooking serving washing cloth etc all those can be exact seva of a disciple so naturally they become very anxious i mean doubtful when they cannot find any such seva done by sala bhopat for his gurudev they think you know cooking for gurudev washing cloth and serving and they say you know this is called seva guru seva they think that way so naturally they express some doubt and anxiety when they cannot find any such seva done by sala bhopat for his gurudev they cannot believe that si chaitanya manobhishtam sthapitam jena bhutale they cannot believe they always recite this shloka all the time si chaitanya manobhishtam sthapitam jena bhutale we all reciting this so but they cannot understand the meaning of this shloka sri chaitanya manobhishto actually this is the main guru seva what is that what is main guru seva is to implement the teachings of mahaprabhu and guru varga in this material world to establish all siddhanta vichar so che sri chaitanya manavishtam sthapitam jena bhutale to establish the siddhanta vichar of siman mahaprabhu and guru varga is the main guru seva main bani seva through which 100% perfect bani seva and this kind of seva was done by sila bhopat 100% perfect bani seva was done by sila bhopat so though 100% perfect bani seva sila bhopat all along being doing perfect le doing perfectly this is called actually guru seva but common people they cannot understand people can be in great confusion about guru seva and lagu seva there is two term one is guru seva one is lagu seva lagu mean chip seva maya seva so them confusion between these two sometime bonded soul can misunderstand when there is logu seva going on not at all guru seva no question of guru seva is there but still the external arrangement by the external arrangement there in confusion the maybe this is actually guru seva i can give the example that those mayavadis they are doing guru puja in a great enthusiast way those mayavadis they are always doing guru seva very more enthusiastic way than us but their guru seva external you know exhibition of guru seva is totally false because they don't believe guru tattva they never believe the eternity of gurudev bhagwan so their guru seva they are ex- you know excellent gurus have externally you know exhibition is totally useless this is called kopat guru seva so people can be in great confusion about guru seva and lagu seva actually those mayavadis they are doing lagu seva mayavadi the maya seva they are doing to satisfy sadhu guru vaishnav of his real seva what do you mean by seva what do you mean by seva seva mean actually to satisfy guru vishnu bhagwan that that is called seva to satisfy sadhu guru vishnu is 
रियल सेवा सो नॉट ओनली दैट बट ऑल्सो दे कैन पॉइंट आउट द वायोलेशन ऑफ ऑल द थ्री मेन इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑलरेडी गिविन बाय परमहंस जगत गुरु शिल गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज टू हिम टू पोपाद दे थिंक दैट पोपाद नॉट गोइंग टू ओबे हिज गुरुदेव देवास हिज परमहंस जगत गुरु गौर किशोर बाबा जी महाराज हिज फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन टू पोपाद वॉज दैर माय प्रभु अमार प्रभु डोंट गो टू कलिर ब्रह्मांड आई मीन डोंट गो टू कैलकाटा कलिर ब्रह्मांड सेकेंड इंस्ट्रक्शन माय प्रभु डोंट मेक एनी डिसाइपल थर्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन अमार प्रभु डोंट गो फॉर एनी एसोसिएशन बी केयरफुल डोंट गो फॉर एनी एसोसिएशन शिल पहुपा Out of his exclusive discrimination, Sela Pahupad, out of his exclusive discrimination, wanted to give perfect answer on all those issues, because externally he was seen to go to Calcutta. Externally he was seen to go to. कोलिर ब्रह्मांड कैलकाटा ऑल्सो एक्सटर्नली इट वॉज सीन दैट पोप आर मेकिंग डिसाइपल सो मेनी सो ऑल्सो एक्सटर्नली ही वॉज फाउंड ही वॉज सीन टू मेक मेनी डिसाइपल्स एगेन एक्सटर्नली ही वॉज सीन टू गो फॉर मेटेरियल एसोसिएशन एक्सटर्नली बट सेल ऑफ पोप आर गिविंग एक्सक्लूसिव सिद्धांत विचार इन फ्रंट ऑफ आस that i never went to kolir brahmanda calcutta i went to gauriamat gauri mission at calcutta so gauriamat gauri mission is not a part of kali brahmanda so gauriamat is not a part of calcutta kolir brahmanda rather this is बैकुंठ प्रांगण इट इज द कोर्टियार्ड ऑफ बैकंठ बैकुंठ वेर आई गेट द प्रिविलेज स्कोप टू सींग द ग्लोरीज ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड ऑल द टाइम नॉन स्टॉप सो आई नेवर लाइक टू गो टू कैलकाटा आई नेवर वेन टू कॉल इट रमांड ऑल्सो आई नेवर मेक एनी डिसेपल Actually, they are not my disciple. They are all my guru varga. Baba Di used to say, "Bipod udharan bandhu varga." They are going to help me in guru vishnu seva. They are going to control me, guide me in front of them. I cannot make any mistake. They are going to arrest me. So I never make any disciple. They are all are my guru varga. i never went for any material association i never want to make any material association never i am less interested to go for any material association because by the magic spell by the magic spell of the topmost association of परमहंस जगत गुरु शिला गौर किशोर दास बाबाजी महाराज आई फील डिटेस्टेड फॉर एनी मेटेरियल एसोसिएशन बाय द हाइस्ट एसोसिएशन बाय द हाइस्ट एसोसिएशन आई रिसीव फ्रॉम माय परमहंस जगत गुरु आई एम टू आई एम फीलिंग टोटली डिटेस्टेड फॉर एनी मेटेरियल आई हैव नो डिजर्व i hit material association so also we can remember the case of ramanuja charya the great i can give this example but first of all i like to 
discuss this point that really that was itself a great revolution in the history of vaishnav acharya sikh really that was itself a great revolution in the history of vaishnav acharya sikh when the world class i mean topmost pandit sela popa took diksha from such a gurudev who was not at all educated this is itself a you know great you know revolu you know revolution a revolting matter so we can discuss this point on time we can also remember that sila ramanuja charya was given a strict instruction by sila gostopurno about not to disclose the secrecy of mantraj in front of anyone gostopurno wanted to give a strict restriction to ramanuja jo not to disclose this secrecy of mantraj on this condition he was bound to give this you know treasure to ramanuja jo but still sila ramanuja jo was bound to disclose this mantra rahasya secrecy of mantra in front of many people at a time so ramanuja jo was bound to dis- disclose the mystery i mean rahasya of mantra in front of many people for their eternal benefit but when sila gostopurno got that information new then he told him that you are surely going to hell you are surely going to hell for violating my instruction i told you not to unveil the mystery of this mantra rahasya to in front of any people but you disobey me then sir ramanujaj jo very glad you well, know sir then sir ramanujaj jo with a mood of apology replied him that mahasai oh gurudev gostopurno in front of gostopurno sir ramanujaj jo was bound to speak in a very humble mood apologizing to that ho mahasai if such a fallen soul like me if such a fallen soul like me going to hell for the disclosure of this mantra rahasya in front of others for their eternal benefit then how much less important the matter is then and there sir gostopurno could realize the sympathetic heart of sir ramanujaja about his great acharya sikh so to establish so to establish sri chaitanya manavishta in this world sri chaitanya manavishta sthapitam jena bhutale to establish to implement the teachings i mean or siddhantas of guru varga i mean and to establish sri chaitanya bani and siddhanta in this mat- in this world this is the topmost uh, mode of guru seva that is why sila paramangsa acharya gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj was always happy always happy with him he was always satisfied with him externally you cannot find externally sila pohupad was not with him externally nobody could find that sila gaur kishor baba ji maharaj is there in front of pohupad or pohupad is in front of gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj to do some physical service not that most of the people those who are foolish they cannot understand what do you mean by sangha sangha what do you mean by mental sangha is also important mental sangha is also important so to stay with guru vishnu be careful is very vital siddhanta 
to stay with guru vaishta means to stay with their achar acharan and siddhanta be careful to stay with guru vaishna and bhagwan means to stay with their achar acharan siddhanta which are everything this is called actual sangha is somebody going to demand i am staying in chaitanya mat where you are staying <laughs> foolish actually i can promise touching gita bhagavad everything i am staying in chaitanya mat all the time who can cut this siddhanta all the time i am staying in chaitanya mat because i like to follow all the achar acharan etiquette siddhanta pooba all the time every fraction of second maybe i am weak but i am trying my best this much i can say so to stay with guru vaishnav means to stay with their achar acharan and siddhanta but most of the people foolish people they are making mistake because they are saying pavad not cooking not washing cloth not cooking for baba ji maharaj so what kind of seva done by sila pavad if at all anyone would approach him if anyone if anyone if at all anyone would approach him i am in mean gorkeshwar baba to speak something against about him about prabhupad if somebody going to speak something about prabhupad against prabhupad then he usually then he usually used to give appropriate fitting answer to the man who is coming to speak against bhavpad sila gorkeshwar baba ji mara used to speak you don't like that sila bimala prasad going to show the exact way of shuddha bhakti you don't like it you have so much jealousy eh you don't like that see that he actually bimala prasad going to show the exact way of shuddha bhakti you don't like this was his strict answer in front of them those who are coming with some complaint against baba sila paramhansa baba ji maharaj always used to call him as amar prabhu ho oh my prabhu ho oh my prabhu sila paramhansa baba ji maharaj always used to call sila pavad as my prabhu not only that but also from heart silo gorkushar baba ji mara used to think he is my guru not sishya i can give one or one or two example then you can realize this point actually long ago one invitation was there from rani chora prabha had received one inf- invitation from rani chora rani choraman in that side kuliya prabhupada received one invitation to speak harikatha anyway to speak harikatha is good no problem sila prabhupada went there and after bandana started speaking harikatha revolting harikatha very nice harikatha then while speaking harikatha suddenly he was bound to glorify the character and the leelas ex, you know aprakita leelas of baba ji maharaj and suddenly pohpat could discover that sila gorkhisar baba ji my my parhansa guru dev sitting among audience to hear harikatha with kambal on his body whenever gorkhisar baba ji maharaj saw could hear all the glories about him then he went away from that place sela pohpad was surprised to see my guru pad padma parmansa shrestho he is sitting among audience to hear my hari katha he think i am his guru ha oh, really so so that is the siddhant of sela pohpad many time he often used to speak that a parmansa acharya never think that they are all my sishya sila bhopad used to speak often often used to speak that they are all my guru 
not my sishya a sadguru a paramahansa guru never think never think that they are my disciple they never like to make any disciple that is a symptom of one paramahansa guru that is the main symptom they never like to make any disciple they like to represent themselves in a very humble way nijo shreshtho jane uchishto adi jane hobe abhimano bhar if i like to express myself as a guru in front of disciple they are going to take some uchishto prasadam for me but i cannot allow that is the desire of guru kishor baba ji maharaj that is the desire of upad they never allow sometime sila gaur kishor baba ji maharaj used to enter into public latrine to do harinam peacefully to avoid you know this bishay lo and this was the usual practice of sila pramangsa baba ji maharaj procedure how to cheat how to cheat material people to avoid material people somehow uh sometime he used to enter into public latrine to do harinam peacefully to avoid their you know disturbance silo pahupa speaking that was the mood that was the mood of my paramahansa gurudev paramahansa gurudev is a, you know direct example living example of that tinad vibhav i can discuss this point detail discussion but now i am touching actually silo pahupa used to speak that my guru patpadma was the living vivid example or the living example of this chinada visloka he entering to public latrine to prove that those material people they can come very easily and they can make urine on my head they can pass stool on my head they can go on they can go on doing this kind of operation and also i can go on increasing my humbleness so one day when silo prabhupad bimala prasad saraswati went to meet him to pay dandavadan to his lotus feet some day prabhupad went to rani chara that side of navadi you know mayapur that a kulia navadi then already probab could fa- could see that baba ji maharaj is doing same lila is inside bathroom i mean latrine then silo probab started calling with very humble mood silo probab knew Sila Prabhupada knew the mood of Sila Gaur Kishore Baba Ji Paramahansa Gurudev. So he started, Prabhupada started calling him with a very humble mood. Ho Baba Ji Maharaj, Ho Baba Ji Maharaj, here I am your servant, Bimala Prasad. Please give me darshan. Please don't try to deprive me, don't try to cheat me. I am your servant. you know bimala prasad after some time uh, when prabhu was speaking this way repeatedly then sila baba ji maharaj was bound to come out in front of him with a very laughing mood <laughs> and started speaking oh my prabhu you sit 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 here in front of me please be, please be seated then after that sila baba ji maharaj you know started speaking i like to hear some bhagavat shloka from you i like i like to hear some bhagavat shloka from you would you please you know you know recite some shlokas from bhagavatam 
after hearing some nice shlokas from sila from from simad bhagavatam after hearing some nice shloka spoken by sila prabhupad he was very much interested to hear some explanation of those shlokas from him from prabhupad amar prabhu amar prabhu could you please explain the meaning of the shlokas very nice so according so according to the advice of sila prabhupad instruction of uh, according to the instruction or advice of sila baba ji maharaj accordingly he started explaining in a very precise way all the you know explaining the shloka the meaning he was really very very happy he was so happy so happy that baba ji maharaj started giving sila baba ji maharaj started giving dust particle from the lotus feet from his own lotus feet onto the head onto the head of sila prabhupad he started giving one by one he started giving dust particles from the from the from the uh, from his own lotus feet onto the head of sila prabhupad he went on giving kripa 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 we cannot even imagine whereas one such dust particle is really very very rare to get that was the causeless mercy of sila baba ji maharaj on sila bhopat then how we can say that how we can say that sila then how we can say that exact guru vishnu seva was not done by sila baba how we can say we must understand what is guru seva what is logu seva to get the total satisfaction of guru vishnu is actual guru seva to get the total satisfaction to try to get the total satisfaction of guru vishnu bhagwan is actual seva we forget the this secrecy we forget this secrecy that is why we are always ready to pro- project ourselves as big guru shevak we forget this secrecy we forget this secret siddhanta that is why why we are always ready to project ourselves as big guru shevaks after hearing some nice shlokas from sila bhopat from simad bhagavatam sila bhopat uh, and uh, he was very much interested to hear some explanation of the shlokas from sila bhopat so accordingly as per the desire of sila baba ji maharaj he started explaining in a very precise way he was really happy he was really very happy to hear all the you know explanation of those shlokas he was so happy so happy that he started giving all the dust particle from his own lotus feet on to the head of sila prabhupad he started giving all the dust particle from his own leg on the head of sila prabhupad you see we cannot even imagine whereas one such dust particle is really very very rare for us to get also you can remember the request of sila uddhav ji maharaj asamaho charanare no jusam aham sam you can remember this shloka then how we can say that exact guru vishnu guru seva was not done by sila prabhupad what do you mean to say to get to 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 get the total satisfaction of guru vishnu is actual seva 
to seek the total satisfaction of guru vishnu is actual guru vishnu seva we forget this secrecy we are so foolish we have we are so material you know we are looking everything with material view we are going to judge everything material point of view we forget this secrecy of bhajan that is why we are always ready to project ourselves as big guru shevak to enjoy whole lava puja patishtha related to this matter not only that but also our always we like to prove always we like to prove that i have intimacy with this baba ji maharaj or any important guru vishnu you know so not only that also we are always ready to take undue advantage of our false relationship with guru vishnu we are always ready to take undue advantage of our false relationship with guru vishnu that is the main tragedy actually sila prabhupad used to speak that some useless people they always used to stay all around sila gopishad was bhai maharaj all useless people they always used to stay with sila gopishad bhai ma all around sila prabhupad used to speak sila baba ji maharaj parangsa baba ji maharaj never throw them out externally and uh, or sila baba ji maharaj never accepted them from heart never baba ji maharaj accepted them from heart but they always wanted to prove that we are very intimate with this parangsa parangsa you know baba ji maharaj you know that is the that is their you know mood they always wanted to take undue advantage of the false their small false relationship with baba ji maharaj we know in this material world any company can sell own goodwill to another company in this material world we have this ex- this kind of experience that any company can sell own goodwill to another company so that goodwill may be cost crores of rupees but here we can collect the goodwill that kind of goodwill i undo advantage you can take we can collect this kind of goodwill simply by applying political brain this we can we can try but actually you cannot come out successful externally i am successful but internally i am not successful i cannot i can never come out successful so to you know so to collect this kind of goodwill i mean to use this undue advantage of the goodwill of guru vishnu i can use you know i can collect is good real simply by applying political brain some so called disciple or devotees they wanted to utilize the good will of sila pavapad some so called disciple or devotees they always wanted to utilize the good will reputation of sila pavapad very tactfully they are just like crow they are just like crow or even some are just like vulture vulture is a patient creature some of them are just like crow and some of them they are like you know vulture a crow a crow always busy a crow always busy to collect all dirty things a crow always busy to collect all dirty things as a very essential objects 
and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, that is why he was bound to write, to give us a relation. Pratishtha Shadhishtha Sapacharamani Meridhi Nathet Raghunath Das Bhavaji Maha, Gaghunath Das Bhavaji Maha speaking, Pratishtha Shadhishtha. Pratishtha Shadhishtha is in a topmost kick of Mahadevi. Pratishthasa, nobody can go out of Pratishthasa. It is very dangerous. It is almost impossible. It is almost impossible. Pratishthasa, to leave Pratishthasa is quite impossible. That's why Raghunath Goswami is speaking, Pratishthasa, Dhrishtha, Sapacha, Ramani, Me, Hirdi, Natech. It is one Sapacha, Ramani, a very low caste, Sapacha, Ramani means lady, you know, that is that kind of comparison, I mean, comparative statement given by Raghunath Das Goswami. Patishtha sa dhrishtha sapacha ramani me hiti ratit. Always dancing inside my heart, this sapacha ramani, patishtha sa, always I want to get this kind of. Sometimes some, some sadhak, can go out of Kamini Kanchan, but Patishtha is the last kick. Patishtha is the last kick of Mayadevi. You know, that's why who is Vaishnava? In this answer, Prabhupada was bound to give this answer. Prabhupada was bound to answer very nice way. Kanaka Kamini Patishtha Bhagini Shariyache Jare Seito Vaishnava. Kanaka Kamini Pratishtha Bhagini Chariya Chijari Seita Vaishnava. Who is Vaishnava? Kanaka Kamini and Pratishtha Bhagini, if gone all totally from the life of one sadha, he is actually Vaishnava. Otherwise, it is quite impossible to become Vaishnava. So, Kanaka Kamini Pratishtha Bhagini Chariya Chijari Seita Vaishnava. So, maybe we know. Now, some devotees putting question in front of me directly. So, I would request them not to, pu not to put question directly in that way. That this Mahara, this Mahara, this Mahara, you should not speak that way. Because I have no mood, I have no temperament, no mood to criticize anybody. Simply, it is my duty to represent Siddhanta. After hearing all this perfect Siddhanta, you will have to take decision. Don't put the name of any Maharaj, what Babaji Maharaj want to speak about that Maharaj, that Maharaj. I am not going to answer because it is very dangerous. Only I would say that you should go through Harikatha and try to understand what I wanted to speak. What I wanted to speak, that those who already left Prabhupada, those who already left Prabhupada, committed operat directly or indirectly, I already explained many times. If somebody is going to stay in that group, they are also aparadi. They are also aparadi. They are also because simply in Bengali, it is in Bengali, you know, village, we hear this simple word. Jet, Aparat je kare, who is doing aparat, pap and aparat. He is same responsible with those people who are going to, going to support. You know, they are also. So, don't try to put question in this naked way. You should understand. So, when I already told that these, 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 they all left Prabhupada, some of them left directly, some of them left indirectly. Then you should have your brain that if any Maharaj going to keep link with them, if you find Maharaj was already there in that group, then surely is going to miss his bhajan. So I cannot give answer, you know, that way. So you will have to understand. So, Kanaka Kamini Pratishtha Bhagini Chariya Chijare Seita Vishnu. That is the only, you know, you know, Siddhanta through which you can understand. 
that who is vaishnava who is not vaishnava another point i would say that pratishtha asa may be some maharaj some acharya started his life very very nicely but we have countless example that half way half way when pratishtha started coming half way their mood was changed they fall down so acharya elected by somebody elected by any group that doesn't mean he is perfect acharya you will have to do bhajan perfectly you will have to get right exact exact answer from shastra tasmat shastra pramanam te karya karjo vyavasthit what to do what not to do that you will have to take decision by the support of shastra siddhanta if you fancifully if you are going to make your mind if you are going to make your mind your own director if you are going to make your material mind your director you are going to follow your material mind in that case i have no responsibility you can lead your life fancifully you need not hear hari katha i am less interested so kanaka kamini pratishtha bagini chariya chejare sei she vaishnav is very sensitive point not that you can realize it overnight you will have to do bhajan for many many years very sincerely you will have to enjoy the full kipa popat bhakti vinod thakur gaur kishor baba all our previous guru varga first point is that really it is very dangerous that common people they cannot understand the language of prabhupad they cannot understand the siddhant of prabhupad so naturally some so called acharya started changing the siddhant of prabhupad they wanted to change siddhant they wanted to represent very easy way but be careful when i am going to translate any writings of prabhupad i have no right to change even one dot full stop nothing so important if i am going to write something some dictation of prabhupa if i am going to change some some you know some full stop this that i am going to change you know apostrophe then is big problem big aparad that's why we heard from our guru varga when we are going to do kirtan of guru varga i mean bhakti mun thakur or you know lochandas thakur or north mun thakur it was instruction it was the instruction of guru varga not to change even dot full stop nothing hyphen dash nothing you can you have no right to change as it is you will have to because how much blood how much sweat how much tears is involved behind this writing after that we can sing very easily we can sing very easily it is very easy for us to sing eh we can sing very easily pasane kutibo matha onole poshibo pasane kutibo matha onole poshibo we can speak we can sing very easily but how much blood how much tears is involved in this writing we will have to realize before singing any kirtan always we will have to feel the mood of guru vaishnav otherwise our kirtan is useless so you can find some acharya new acharyas so called acharyas they always try to change the writing sa paupad represent easily made easy before exam whole life you are not doing i mean a whole you know year you are not you know going through your slavers but before exam you are very anxious going to college street college street to buy a medicine so that you can follow medicine within 7 days and try to appear in the exam okay this kind of exam is not good for you is not good so i am not sahajya i cannot approve sahajya way 
so i would request you to do put energy day and night for your bhajan i cannot allow any compromise with maya devi you can leave my harikatha you need not hear i cannot make any compromise with maya devi prabhu speaking we cannot expect bhagwan to come with a mixture of maya oh bhagwan you come but with a mixing of some maya i cannot accept you if you come in pure form this is not allowed i cannot speak that way there is no compromise so raghunath das go swami maharaj baba ji maharaj speaking that way patishtha sadhishtha sapacharamani me hi din hade paupad writing khana ka kamini patishtha bagini chhariya che jari sei to vishnu so also you can find some acharya halfway breakdown i mean fall down so it is your you know you know it is your duty to go through harikatha go through siddhanta and find the mood find all answer not directly you can get so to represent all exact siddhanta in front of you know devotees it is my only duty so also externally we can see that a vulture can fly on the topmost possible level of the sky externally we can find externally we can see that a vulture can fly on the topmost possible level of the sky to prove that i am so much elevated i am so much elevated you see but but the ultimate attention but the ultimate attention of that dirty creature i mean vulture is on a rotten dead body of any beast or bird or man flying off very high uh, always is you know sharp attention always is sharp attention is there where is the dead body what is the spoiled dead body this is our this is the present status this is the present status of this modern spiritual world society we are really very sorry we are really very sorry to hear such unusual words at present we are hearing but previously never i heard we are really very sorry surprised to hear such comment unusual comments like aristocrat sadhu poor sadhu aristocrat sadhu yes he is very aristocrat sadhu he is very poor sadhu etc when pallad maharaj very tactfully very carefully wanted to glorify the poji and glorify the potishta kami who is expecting potishta that hiranyakashipu in front of hiranyakashipu pallad maharaj wanted to glorify his name in such a way all sadhu they they are you know they can they can enjoy so nice so clever prahlad maharaj because one vaishnav is always very clever so when sila prahlad maharaj was very clever to represent the glories of you know of patishta kami hiranyakashipu very tactfully and uh, in the following way eh huh? how pollad maharaj glorifying and the position and rank of that pratishtha kami you know beggar beggar of pratishtha hiranyakashipu tat sadhu mannehi asura varja dehi nam sada samud vigna dhiya sad grahat itvatva patam giha mand kupam banam gata yad hari ma asrayet tat sad manne hi asur y barj de hinam you try to remember what i mean to say tat sad manne hi asur barj de hinam this first line i like to discuss 
तत्साधु मन्ने हैं सूर्य पर जो देही नाम इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिरण्य कशिबु प्रहलाद महाराज स्पीकिंग दैट वे दैट प्रहलाद महाराज स्पीकिंग दिस आई थिंक एक्सेलेंट फैसिलिटी टू लिव दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड गो टू फॉरेस्ट टू कंसेंट्रेट इन द लोड ऑफ ऑन टू अ लोड ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड एंड बिकॉज दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड इज फुल ऑफ फायर ऑल द टाइम तो साधु मन आई थिंक इज वेरी गुड है नो फॉर दे दो सफरिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड दे कैन गो अवे इन फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट मीन साधु संग आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन मेनी टाइम बिफोर आई हैव नो स्कोप ना तत्साधु मन नहीं असुर बर्ज दे ही नम सदा समुद्र भिघ्न धिया सदगृहाल हिवा तो पातम गृह मंदकूपम बरम गयाद हरिमाश्रय वेन प्रहलाद महाराज वॉज स्पीकिंग ग्लोरिफाइन द नेम ऑफ हिरण्य कशिबु प्रतिष्ठ काम इज द बिगर ऑफ प्रतिष्ठ प्रतिष्ठा हिरण्य कशिबु हियरिंग इज देन द किंग वॉज वेरी सर सैटिस्फाइड टू हियर द टॉप मोस्ट ऑनरेबल डिस्टिंगशन गिवेन बाय श्री द प्रहलाद महाराज but the king could not realize how much deplorable the title is by the by the king by the king could not realize he was so fool he could not realize how much deplorable the title is because asura varjo tatsadu manne he asura varjo asura varjo mean topmost of asura race <laughs> is mean how asura varjo mean You are the oldest of all asuras. You are the topmost fallen, you know. So asura varjo means the oldest of all asuras. You are topmost asur, asura varjo, not father. For Ladma, don't no, not speaking that father, asura varjo. Similarly, this aristocrat title is is applicable to a sadhu, you know. Somebody can apply this. Sir, is really very painful. If sad, if some sadhu become very happy to hear, oh, I am going to America, Russia, yeah, there, I am so rich. So naturally, they are going to pay some respect. No man, no. Your money can give you respect, but that is external respect. From internal heart, nobody can pay you respect. To get the honor and respect, actual. Shraddha, you will have to do bhajan perfectly. So your idealism, not a matter of joke. Similarly, this aristocrat, this title, if applied to a sadhu, he can feel that is very good, but it's really very painful, because all genuine Gauriya sadhus are niskinchan from heart. I already told the case of Baba. Baba speaking. day and night our brahmacharis our brahmacharis they are putting energy day and night they are going to collect madhukuri viksha they are going to collect madhukuri viksha viksha all the time and even a single penny of that amount we are not going to misuse we are going to use for the actual guru guranga seva be careful that is called niskinchan bhav i already told you can remember prabhupad declaring openly i am not going to deposit keep any deposit money for you all so that you can have the in a scope to run the mission very smoothly no i cannot keep any deposit amount so sila prabhupad always used to say that i am niskinchan really really even after making 20 64 different mart marts and mandir still popad used to say i am niskinchan why they are become very angry with a niskinchan sadhu like me what wrong i have done why they why they become merciless i am niskinchan sadhu popad used to speak this way also bhagwan sri krishna used to speak you can remember bhagwan sri krishna speaking and doing everything you know in favor of this you know conception 
सिद्धांत इवन इन फ्रंट ऑफ रुक्णी रुक्णी देवी इन दारुका भगवान श्री कृष्ण वन डे स्पीकिंग अहम निष्किंचन निष्किंचन जनर प्रिय आई माइ सेल्फ इन स्किंचन आई नाइ सेल्फ हो देवी आई माइ सेल्फ निष्किंचन एंड दोज निष्किंचन साधु दे कैन लव मी फ्रॉम हार्ट सो दिस इज अ सिस्टम अहम निष्किंचन निष्किंचन जनर प्रिय कृष्ण भगवान स्पीकिंग वाई कृष्ण भगवान always siman mahaprabhu also used to identify himself as niskinchan sadhu not even a penny you can find with mahaprabhu in his whole leela whole leela you can search where from you are learning i don't know is gauriya siddhanta you are learning from which source i don't know i have some doubt so that is why prabhupad wanted to speak repeatedly you will you will have to you will have to search a exact source you will have to search out a exact source from where you can hear exact gauriya siddhanta i mean siddhanta popad bhakti mun thakur you will have to search a exact siddhanta you can hear you have to search, you have to search out such a proper source from where you can get the privilege to hear all intact siddhanta we are not like to we don't like to follow medical system we are not ready to follow medical system already i told some time before the some devotees so called devotees most of them they are speaking that the language of prabhupada is so tough the language of siddhant is so tough we cannot understand anything they say comparatively the language of bhakti vinod thakur is very easy really so if i can put one question from the writing of bhakti vinod thakur so when sila pallad maharaj giving honor to hiranyakashipu tat sad manne ho suro bar jo dehi nam sada samud bigna dhiya masad gruha this way when when pandad maharaj speaking hiranyakashipu was very satisfied he anu kusub was very satisfied to get this kind of material you know you know honor but asura varjo means prahlad maharaj speaking that way but hiranu kusub the king could not realize how much deplorable condition with him the meaning of the title he couldn't understand meaning of the title asura varjo means the oldest of all asuras asura varjo means the the oldest of all asuras that means his conditions you know oldest very bad similarly this aristocratic title if applied to a sadhu is really very painful they can think that is very good but actually aristocrat sadhu this aristocrat title if applied to a sadhu then that sadhu can think that is very good but it is really very painful because all genuine gauriya sadhus they are niskinchan from heart they are all niskinchan from heart sila bhakti vinod thakur sila gaur kishor baji maharaj sila bahu pad jagannath das all sila bhakti pumat puri goshi maharaj keshu us all sidha goshi maharaj all niskinchan because all genuine gauriya sadhus they are all niskinchan from heart sa bahu pad also used to say i am niskinchan even after the establishment of 64 different mods still Baba used to speak that I am Niskinchan. Sometime Baba used to say, "Why he is so angry with me? I am actually Niskinchan Sadhu. Why they have become very angry with me? I am Niskinchan. What wrong I have done with them? So this is the mood of all our Nis, all our Gauriya Guru Varga, Raganu Guru Varga. They are also." we can see 
that even Bhagavan Sri Krishna, he always thinking that I am Niskinchan. Not only that, in front of Rukhini Devi, 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 Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, I am Niskinchan, Aham Niskinchan, 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 Janair Priya. I am Niskinchan, I myself Niskinchan, and those who are Niskinchan Sadhu, they all love me. This is, this is our mutual love. So, Simon Mahaprabhu also used to identify himself as Niskinchan Sadhu. In the whole life of Mahaprabhu Leela, whole Leela, you cannot find a single penny with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu used to, you know, show, you know, Renan Soda Sanas Lila, they are no, not even a single penny, Mapu touching. He used to identify himself as Niskinchan Sadhu. Even after establishing 64 different marts all over the world, Srila Prabhupada always used to identify himself as Niskinchan. Who is Niskinchan? How we can understand? That Krishna is Niskinchan, Gorkisar Baba Niskinchan, Prabhupada Niskinchan, Kesakusi, how we can understand? How we can understand the Niskinchan? What do you mean by Niskinchan? Niskinchan means no Niskinchan means who is Niskinchan and why? If a sadhu can feel from heart that Hari Charan, Bhagavad Charan is my only shelter and property, nothing else. Then he is surely Niskinchan. When a sadhu can feel from heart that only and only Harisharan is the only shelter and property, my, my only property, my only property and shelter is Harisharan, nothing else. Then he is surely Niskinchan. But when Bhagavan Sri Krishna the all-pervading Supreme Lord speaking about his own Niskinchan Baba, then how we can believe? Then we can believe, yes. We should understand that why Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, I am Niskinchan? We should understand this point under the guidance of Paramahansa Guru Varga. We should understand that only property of Sri Krishna is Radha Charan, Si Radha Charan. We should understand, understand the secrecy that the only property of Bhagavan Sri Krishna is Sri Radha Charan, nothing else. That is the unique excellency here in the Siddhanta. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna Gopal going to message the lotus feet of Baldavji Maharaj, when we can find in Vrindavan Lila, when we can find in Mindavan Leela that Bhagavan Sri Krishna actually, actually when Sri Krishna Gopal going to message the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj, then externally you can find Krishna serving Baldev, but not that. Actually it is the service of you know it is the service of Balaji Maharaj. Why? Balaji Maharaj wanted to satisfy Krishna all the time. He never liked to interfere with his, you know, desire. So when this become an evidence of seva of Balaji Maharaj, this become because when we can find the Sri Krishna Gopal going to message the lotus feet of Balaji Maharaj, then this become an exclusive seva of Balaji Maharaj. For Krishna say, Krishna. Because the only attention of Balaji Maharaj is to satisfy Krishna somehow in a very favorable way. Maybe this can be done through the procedure of taking seva from Krishna. If Balaji Maharaj is going to take seva from Krishna, if Krishna become very happy, then Balaji Maharaj is also happy. 
the only duty of allah maharaj is to seek the satisfaction of krishna the secrecy the secrecy of rag bhajan the secrecy of rag bhajan is lying with this fact silo pohpad often used to say silo pohpad wanted to give this teaching you know silo pohpad wanted to give us a teaching is vital point you know repeatedly through yukta vairagya pohpad always in his whole life wanted to give this kind of example yukta vairagya to to find out the way through which we can satisfy supreme lord guru goranga gandharvika that was the only you know that is the that is the only duty so sila prabhupad always wanted to teach us this vital point what is that vital point yukta vairagya a point of yukta vairagya to seek the full satisfaction of krishna is the only way of rag is the only way of rag bhajan if i need to go to hell for that still it is okay if i need to go to hell if i am bound to go to hell for that then still it is okay to seek the full satisfaction of krishna to seek the full satisfaction of krishna if i need to go to hell this still it is okay no problem that is called rag bhajan we know how the whole universe rejected the proposal of narad ji maharaj when narad ji maharaj was searching any devotee who is ready to give dust particle from his lotus feet or her lotus feet or his lotus feet so that narad ji maharaj can come to vrindavan narad ji maharaj can come back to krishna and apply those dust particle on his head to to give him remedy i mean it was a big headache so we know the case the how the whole universe rejected the proposal of narad ji maharaj when he was searching for the dust particle from the lotus feet of any devotee for krishna for the recovery of krishna from severe headache but those brajavasis they all rejected but those brajavasis especially those brajagopikas they were very much anxious about the sickness of sri krishna so they started giving dust particles from the lord from their lotus feet to ensure to ensure sri krishna's good health recovery those gopikas they can come down to any level for the complete satisfaction of sri krishna they are never going to think about their they are they are no they are never then they never going to seek any satisfaction they never try to you know think about themselves so those gopikas they can come down to any level for the complete satisfaction of sri krishna that is called actually raganuga secret devotee a secret bhajan the same mood of secret ragavajan was expressed by sila pohpad when he told the same mood of very secret ragavajan was expressed by sila pohpad when he told i can come down to any level for the actual preaching of sri chaitanya vani many of his followers misunderstood him many of his followers misunderstood him left him mercilessly but still sila pohpad was fixed on his 
determination. Prabhupada was not ready to change his own point. So, that is why Prabhupada used to speak, if the whole world going against me, still I am going to sing, 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 I am going to sing about, the, about, the, about that absolute truth, absolute way, standing under the umbrella of, of lotus feet of Sri Guru Pat Padma. So I am not going to change my standpoint. Sometimes Srila Prabhupada used to say, the main reason, sometimes sometime, Srila Prabhupada used to say, the reason for why I was bound to come on this earth is not yet completed. The reason for why I was bound to come here on this earth is not yet completed. Because to clean, to clean all the garbage, to clean all the garbage gathered on this material world, this duty I was doing for a long time and now all my time gone. I couldn't get the scope any scope to speak all about the secret bhajan, rag bhajan. Sometimes Prabhupada used to speak that doi hidaya boli lokeva doito dasara seva gopi bhav kothar kirtan hidaya boli lokeva doito dasara seva gopi bhav kothar kirtan Prabhupada writing in his, you know, who is Vaishnav there? You can find. Hidaya bolilo keva doito dasar seva gopi bhav kothar kirtan. Prabhupada speaking, who is speaking inside my heart all the time? It is your duty to sing all about the glories of those gopikas, gopi bhav kothar kirtan. What Prabhupada wanted to speak? What Prabhupada wanted to give indication? You should understand. Hidaya bolilo keva doito dasar seva gopi bhav kothar kirtan. Prabhupada wanted to give indication that somebody is speaking inside myself, speaking inside me all the time, that go on thinking all about the glories of those gopikas, manjuris. So, what Prabhupada wanted to speak in front of us, really Prabhupada wanted to speak in front of us, but Prabhupada couldn't get any scope to speak in front of us. Prabhupada speaking, from Himalaya to Kanna Kumarika, from Himalaya up to Kanna Kumarika, I was bound to run here and there, but I couldn't find even a single, you know, devotee who is really interested to hear all about this, you know, secret bhajan. I couldn't find. Prabhupada used to speak that way. Prabhupada wanted to speak that way. Not that our Guru Bargo, not that. Not that Prabhupada wanted to mean that nobody, you know, Kesavgas and all our Guru Bargo are useless. Not that. Prabhupada wanted to speak. It was my effort all along. I wanted to give this message of Krishna, this exclusive love affair between Gopikas and Krishna's Brajavasis. But I couldn't get the scope because the heart is not going to leave, you know, material thing. So, without any qualification, quality, Prabhupada was less interested to speak any secret thing in front of anybody. That doesn't mean Prabhupada never wanted to speak about Raganuga Bhajan. We know we know that Prabhupada speaking Harikatha at the bank of Radha Kundo in the month of, month of Kartik, I heard it from Guru Bhargava. Prabhupada speaking Harikatha and somehow Prabhupada was speaking about Radharani but as soon as he was going to utter the name of Radharani, 
Prabhupada stopped Harikatha, started showing astrosatic vikar. So who told Prabhupada is not in favor of Raganuga Bhajan? Only Prabhupada cannot allow us to jump into fire, growing fire. Prabhupada always wanted to ensure a smooth bhajan life so that ultimately we can reach up to the level, we can go up to the level. That's why Bhakti Mantra also rising now that if we are engaged in if we are engaged in Vidimar, then ultimately by the guidance of Rupanuga Guru Varga, ultimately we can reach up to that level. So I can discuss this point sometime. So Bhakti Mantra writing that Vidhi Margo Ratojane, Sadhinata, Ratno Dane, Rag Margi, Korai, Pravesh. Very nice, you know, Siddhanta. I can explain someday. Srila Prabhupada also used to say that if we are going to feel any attraction, if we are going to feel, if we are, if we are not going to feel any attraction for Aprakita Madhur Rasa, you see, Srila Prabhupada used to say that if at all we are not going to feel any attraction for Aprakita Madhur Rasa Vilas, conjugal love affair, Madhur Rasa Vilas Aprakita, then surely, very shortly, material Madhur Rasa Baba, material Madhur Rasa Baba can contaminate us, we can feel attraction and go to hell. It's a must. Prabhupada used to speak this way. Now, in this respect, I would re I would like to refer some, I would like to project some points which is very vital, re vital regarding Jukta Vairagya. Jukta Vairagya is a topmost secrecy to get entry into Raga Nuga Bhajan. So I like to explain one or uh, some points. So one or two cases I can speak. So Yukta Vairagya. So now in this respect I would prefer to project some points on Yukta Vairagya technique usually followed by Srila Prabhupada just like Srimati Radharani. Srimati Radharani can face any problem. Any problem. But still cannot leave Krishna Seva. So, you see, one day before sending Srila Banagusvami Maharaj to foreign country for preaching purpose, for the preaching of Sri Chaitanya Bani, one day Srila Prabhupada requested him, told him to put on a suit and coat and suit and boot, etc. and come in front of you. But Srila Ban Maharaj was feeling very shy. He was not ready to do that. But ultimately, by the instruction of Srila Prabhupada, by the ultimate by the by the by the instruction of Srila Prabhupada, ultimately he was bound to change his dress, sannyas dress, and come in the form of coat, pant, shirt, tree tie, you know, boot, everything. Then Srila Bhopal started speaking, come on, now it is okay, it is all okay. This is called Jukta Vairagya. This is called actually Jukta Vairagya. So what Prabhupada wanted to speak, common people cannot understand. Very rare thing. Another example I can speak, one day, the last sannyasi of Srila Prabhupada, I mean Srila Jajabar Goswami Maharaj, well, he was feeling very shy to speak in front of, to speak Harikatha in front of all those erudite scholars in a very big, you know, Dharma Sabha. He was not ready to speak in front of public. He was very shy. 
but it was the standing instruction of sila popa the sila jajavag sri maharaj must go there to speak hari katha as a representative of goriamat as a representative of goriamat he must go but by sila jajavag sri maharaj started crying what i can speak there i am not pandit i am not you know smart how i can speak hari katha there sila jajavag sri maharaj on hearing this instruction by sila popa and that that po and uh, he started crying he started seeing how i can go what i can speak there the big sava dharma sava there that bad sila popat never wanted to change his decision he took decision to send jayabagu sri maharaj as a representative of goria mission and he must go there in that sava he must speak hari katha he started crying but sila popat speaking what happens what happens he will have to go he will have to go what's the reason for why he is crying he must go i am not going to change my decision that time he was bound to go there to speak hari katha and all sadhu there they all started speaking sadhu 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 very good very good very good they started speaking so from long distance popat can give kipa to anybody we must believe that all our hari katha all our writings all our siddhanta or if we are at all anugata 100% inclined then all we can get power divine help from sri popat and bhakti vinod takur we can do this i was speaking about some special point that somebody is speaking that the language and siddhanta of sri popat is very tough whereas the language of bhakti vinod takur is comparatively very easy now if i say you are educated maybe you have some double ma degree in bengali so i like to put one question very simple bhakti vinod tak from the writings of bhakti vinod takur bhakti vinod takur speaking that in bengali first i can speak in bengali bhakti vinod takur writing that bhagavaner antaranga sev antaranga shakti asol shakti bhakti vinod takur writing i am speaking from from one of the writings of bhakti mutha bhagavaner antaranga shakti asol shakti vastav ei antaranga shaktir baire je shakti ache bole mone hoy atocho ei antaranga sarop shakti na thakle jar kono ostitto thake na take bole maya somebody putting question in front of bhakti mutha thakur bhakti mutha thakur giving answer very clearly very very clearly in bengali language there is no you know complicacy bhakti mun tagu speaking bhagavane sarup shakti holo shakti bhagavane sarup shaktir baire je shakti ache bole mone hoy atocho je sarup shakti na thakle pore ei shaktir kono ostitto thake na take bole maya taki bole maya যে ভগবানের স্বরূপ শক্তি হলো শক্তি স্বরূপ শক্তির স্বরূপ শক্তির বাইরে যে শক্তি আছে বলে মনে হয় অথচ স্বরূপ শক্তি ছাড়া যার কোনো অস্তিত্ব নাই তাকে বলা হয় মায়া হোয়াট ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইট ইজ মাই কোয়েশ্চেন হোয়াট ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইফ ইউ আর ইফ ইউ আর বেঙ্গলি ম্যান আই এম পুটিং কোয়েশ্চেন হোয়াট ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড অর হিন্দি ইফ ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড আই এম পুটিং হিন্দি ভগবান কা স্বরূপ শক্তি আসলি শক্তি ভগবান কা স্বরূপ শক্তি কা বাহার जो शक्ति है बोल के महसूस होता है लेकिन भगवान का सर्व शक्ति को हटा लिया जाए तो जो शक्ति का कोई अस्तित्व तो नहीं रहती उसका नाम है माया अब क्या समझे अब अब बताओ क्या समझे भगवान का सर्व शक्ति ही असली शक्ति है भगवान का सर्व शक्ति का बाहर जो शक्ति है बोल के महसूस होता है लेकिन भगवान का अंत अंतरंगा शक्ति सर्व शक्ति को हटा लेने से जो शक्ति का एग्जिस्टेंस मिसिंग हो जाता है जाती है उसका नाम माया 
मतलब क्या समझे कैन यू गिव एंसर प्रॉपरली वेरी सिंपल बेंगोल बट यू कैनोट आंसर सो दिस मीन्स एक्चुअली वॉट भक्ति मीन ठाकुर वॉन्टेड टू से दैट स्वरूप शक्ति इज द एग्जैक्ट शक्ति अंतरंग शक्ति इज द शक्ति ऑफ सुपर रियली सो इटर्नल एग्जिस्टेंस बट एक्सेप्ट दैट देर इज वन सैडो ऑफ दैट स्वरूप शक्ति दैट इज कॉल्ड माया शक्ति सो विदाउट दैट स्वरूप शक्ति एग्जिस्टिंग इन द इटर्नल वॉल इज द परवर्टेड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ दैट यू नो दैट स्वरूप शक्ति सो इफ स्वरूप शक्ति इज नॉट देयर लाइक वन शैडो ऑफ वन ऑब्जेक्ट इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इफ इट सेल्फ इज नॉट देयर देन द शैडो कैन नॉट we cannot we can we cannot get any shadow similarly so in english what you can understand that the internal sarup shakti of bhagwan is a genuine shakti except that another shakti we can get we can feel the experience of another shakti in this material world but except that antaranga shakti which is eternally exist existing there in you know nitya jagat we can lose we can we cannot find the existence of this shakti that is called maya shakti so try to understand eternally existing that maya shakti and the shadow shakti here in this material world is maya so what prabhupad wanted to say a bhakti mantra wanted to say if sarup shakti is not there then there no question of shadow no question of shadow so sarup shakti is the original shakti except that we can we can feel the experience, we can we can experience another shakti in this material world but believe me without that is you know, sarup shakti this this shakti without the shakti this shakti can lose you know position and rank everything vanish that is called actually maya so Externally, you can find is very very easy representation. Word and theme of Pakti Minu Thakur is very easy, and the word and Siddhant. I mean, I means the you know writings of Pawpath and Siddhant of of Pawpath is very tough. But I, I heard from my Guru Path Badman Guru Barga very nice Siddhant. Guru Maharaj used to say, I also from Guru Barga I heard, Kesu Kusi Maharaj. Sridhar Goswami Maharaj, sometime, you know, is speaking actually the speech and Siddhanta and the writings of Prabhupad is like coconut, coconut, you know. Externally, you have no scope to touch that sweet water and and you know fruits inside. You will have to break that you know coconut. Then you can find nice you know sweet water and all you can enjoy. you know coconut inside but externally you can, if you stand with that you know you can only see hard you know wooden structure all along so guru varga used to speak it is like you know avedya you can you have to penetrate how by saranagati by saranagati if you can penetrate that covering you can enter the theme baba and the meaning of the writings of prabhupad otherwise you cannot understand see the word excellency you see i can give one example in favor of that so what i heard from guru barga i myself also experienced it first of all when when i started reading about prabhupad first of all very very early you know in my life or devotional life first of all i was feeling some problem when i started reading daily 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 then gradually find is very easy the meaning is very easy no problem in it so by the mercy of prabhupad by the mercy of sila prabhupad and only by the mercy of sila prabhupad you can get entry into the siddhanta vichar and the meaning of sila other writings of prabhupad and others you cannot get entry is very you can find is very hard when you are inclined when you are sincere when you are going to do bhajan very nicely day by day and thinking about prabhu day and night automatically automatically i promise i promise touching bhagavatam it's automatically you can gradually start you can you can 
you can gradually increase your you know perceiving power you can realize you can start realizing the meaning what pope at want to say in this context i would like to give one example here long ago when prabhupad was doing doing leela so prabhupad used to arrange you know different kind of exhibition in different places ahora station in dhaka different places in alihabad everywhere so all the time it was the duty of prabhupad all the time it was the duty of prabhupad to arrange something so that common people can get benefit so that common people can come out of material bondage they can get the scope to start hari bhajan that was the only desire of sila prabhupad from heart so prabhupad used to arrange different kind of you know exhibition that time exhibition was opened at dhaka main dhaka city that time it was a system different kind of dolls you know exhibition in exhibition cartoon and dolls every in store it was store different lela like you know like you know uh, you know hiranagasibu giving punishment to pollad maharaj sometime ajamil this different kind of in different stall different kind of you know exhibition there and with the, that exhibition there is also Uh, you know guidance in the form of writing what siddhanta uh, you can understand from this you know this play this you know so popad used to write very deep meaning and uh, so they used to paste it in the outside wall so that everybody can come and watch the leela exhibition and they can read the pamphlet and the paper they can come to understand they can realize oh this is the meaning of this leela they can realize siddhanta vichar everything but one day one day some principals some day some professors and 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 one uh, some principals of some different colleges and from especially from jagannath jagannath uh, college of dhaka some you know some you know teachers i mean professors they came to watch that exhibition they started was watching one by one but when they are going through the writings they cannot understand the meaning is very simple bengali writing so some it was a system some some guide some guide is there on behalf of goriamon this standing there if somebody going to put some question it is the response it was the responsibility of that guy guide to give answer so they cannot understand they are putting question in front of that you know guide uh, here it is written this way what is the meaning of this uh, you know this uh, this uh, you know sentence we cannot make any you know meaning then the boy i mean the devotee small devotee started explaining what popad wanted to mean by this writing they was really they were very surprised to see the meaning oh really so oh this way the representation is so nice but so so typical we cannot understand the meaning now we can very understand very easily this way common people cannot understand common people cannot understand common people cannot understand the writings and speech of prabhupad one or two example also i can give so that you can understand very easily our guru varga one of our guru varga i mean kunjo vihari vidyabhushan kunjo vihari vidyabhushan kunjo da when came fast the eternal person may be but when they manifest this kind of leela when Kunjoda came first to attend the Hari Katha of Prabhupada. He was doing service in, you know, GPO, General Post Office in Dalhousie. He took leave for at least, you know, three weeks. He came, and by the advice of his friends, or his name of the friend was usually Paramananda Prabhu. 
they both are they both of them are from the same village native native land native place so so by the request of you know paramananda babu he came he was given guest house everything i mean place for staying and prasadam arrangement was all there he started hearing harikatha at jog uh, and jog pit simandir pavat speaking harikatha daily but after 2 3 4 days he discover that it is uh, useless for me to come here i cannot understand what he mean to say what do you mean to say he is only sadhu no but no sadhu is there what do you mean to say oh i don't like to stay here i like to take leave very shortly then he apprises his own you know desire in front of paramananda babu paramananda babu said, no 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 don't go don't go please don't go now you go on hearing for some days more don't go now it is my request you go on hearing for some days more you can automatically realize really so after 7 days is over after 7 days is over after 7 days over kunjoda started realizing the inner meaning what popat want to say about that absolute truth oh really who oh, really this kind of exclusive siddhanta vichar is rare in this material world impossible is golok bani i must stay here for whole life i must give service i mean i must dedicate my life unto the lord of speed up sila pawpa this way another example i can give to in front of you that long ago when prabhat was there in radhakundo that time that time prabhat was in radhakundo at the time of kartik mang maybe speaking harikatha in front of some erudite scholars baba speaking very 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 mane very nice siddhanta after hearing all harikatha some devotees those who are habituated to hear baba for long time they could realize something but some of them especially those who are newcomer maybe they are educated very big professor or you know you know master maybe they started speaking in front of baba baba your harikatha is really very nice is going to you know change your heart but we cannot you know make any meaning of some some of your siddhantas so could you please uh, come down to our level to speak harikatha very smoothly easily so that we can realize very easily then probert started seeking if the speaker i am in the harikatha who is speaking harikatha probert is speaking if the speaker not going to come down to the level of those audience rather if that you know that speaker out of his own own keeper going to give power to those audience to come up to the level of the speaker is it good or not <laughs> this started you know laughing really so pobad never wanted to make any compromise with anybody pobad started speaking so if the speaker not going to come down up to the level of the audience rather if the speaker go, going to help all those you know you know audience i mean those who are going to hear harikatha if the speaker going to lift to them help them come up to the level of the speaker is it good or not then they started laughing so in whole life in the whole life sila pobad never wanted to make any compromise in a way of suddha bhakti so i was bound to put all those you know you know one one by one so so many example in front of you so that you can realize what prabhupad wanted to do what prabhupad wanted to speak what is the exclusive acharya seva of sila prabhupad by your mercy by the mercy of guru varga or the audience if they can bless me i can go on explaining about the exclusive acharyas acharyas of ausya pavpat i can remember all new new points and i can go on discussing now 
नेक्स्ट डे आई ऑल्सो आई कैन डिस्कस सम पॉइंट्स दैट हाउ एक्सक्लूसिव वे प्रोपात वॉन्टेड टू रिक्वेस्ट दोज यू नो दोज यू नो डिसबल्स दोज आर स्पेशली गोइंग फॉर प्रीचिंग पर्पज इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम भोपात वॉन्टेड टू स्पीक सम स्पेशल मैसेज फॉर देम फॉर ऑल एवरीबॉडी especially for them before sending them on preach preaching ground preaching field pope has wanted to clarify some special points which we all should understand and realize to cut all our ignorance who can go for preaching what should be his mood otherwise if we cannot understand in half way many acharyas many preachers half way they fall down break down so we can really understand all the secrecies and also i am interested to discuss about the exclusive order uh, by by bana sila bhakti vinod thakur before leaving his body uh, dira bhakti vinod thakur wanted to give some special instruction to sila bimala prasad special instruction i am very interested to discuss all about it very long discussion actually like in the year of 1914 uh, actually bhakti vinod thakur left this material world in the year of 1914 before rathi yatra day and uh, one day before rathi yatra and uh, you know uh, gundicha mandir they or maybe uh, yes so you see bhakti mun thakur wanted to give some special instruction to bimala prasad saraswati prabhupad what different kind of instruction what given well, first of all to start dam parikrama to install दैव वर्णाश्रम धर्मा टू स्टार्ट दाम परिक्रमा टू ओपन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ विश्व विश्वराज स्वाभा आई मीन टू एस्टाब्लिश विश्व विश्वराज फ्रेशली आर ऑल्सो दाम प्रचारणी सभा एक्सेट्रा ऑल दो पॉइंट्स आर वेरी वाइटल पॉइंट्स आई लाइक टू डिस्कस ऑल इन डिटेल्स बट देर शुड नॉट बी एनी डिस्टर्बेंस If there is any disturbance, interruption in Hari Katha, I feel very sorry for that. I cannot, you know, be here. That is the main point. So, अतः दुष्णगम दुष्णगम उसी दुष्णगम उसी जो सासु सजेद बुद्धिमाना हाँ अतः अतः दुष्णग अतः दुस्संग परिचय जो सस्सु सज्जेद बुद्धिमान संत एव अस्व छिंदी मन व्यासंगम उक्ति भी आई कैन डिस्कस दिस श्लोक नेक्स्ट डे सो अप टू दिस पॉइंट आई लाइक टू स्टॉप गौरांगैक गतिर्भजा स्थितमती श्री गौरधाम स्थिति सत्सैक वितिर्कुसंग विरती दुष्टो व्यथा निष्कृति श्री रूपति सनातन नति श्रीजीवते जो स्तुति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति सुजनादरादिपादुगम जुगधर्म दुरंधर पात्रोबर बरदावयदाय कपूय पदम पुनमा सदा पभुपादुपदम पुनमा सदा पभुपादुपदम पुनमा सदा पभुपादुपदम वाछकल्पतुर्वशी के पासिंदु पचितान पावन वैष्णव्यो नमो नमः